Hey Marcus, what's Google AdWords and why do you have this big check for $1.4 million made out to them? First of all, disclaimer, that's not a real check. And this, second of all, I did spend close to $1.5 million advertising my businesses, affiliate products, and other things on the Google AdWords platform. And in this short little video, we're gonna talk to you about what AdWords is, how to get started with AdWords, what the content network is, what's the difference between AdWords and AdSense, and how you could get started using AdWords to promote your business, products, service, or market yourself as an affiliate marketer. And we're, and we're starting, starting right, right now. now. Hey guys, it's Marcus here, and welcome inside the backyard office. Today what we're going to do is talk to you about what Google AdWords is, how you can use it in your business or with affiliate marketing to actually turn a profit online, and we're going to go deep into what makes this work and why it works. Now, if you like this kind of stuff and you want to learn to make money online with your business or affiliate marketing or whatever it is you got going on, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the little bell notification icon. That way you get the new videos that I come out with when I release release them and you're notified when we have live web trainings here every Wednesday and Friday morning so you don't want to miss those make sure you subscribe right now let's dive right in and let's talk about what Google AdWords is now if you were to go to Google right now and you did a search on Google let's say we're gonna do one for one that I'm ranking for Kartra bonus that's for a product that I've been promoting lately that helps marketers manage all their stuff so if you do a search for Kartra bonus you're gonna see the following results you'll notice up at the top there's one of my listings for affiliate marketing dude that has a little green ad box by it that means it's an ad and I'm actually paying for that listing now that is ran through the Google AdWords platform what you do is you go to Google AdWords you sign up for an account and you can actually bid on keywords or phrases or different types of interests and show up when people search now if we scroll down the page a little bit more you're going to see a ranking that doesn't say ad that's also from my affiliate marketing dude.com website now the difference between the two is one is called SEO or free traffic and the other is paid traffic now the reason everyone doesn't just go for free traffic is sometimes it's very difficult to get for the various words you're after and maybe sometimes you want to be higher up on the results as well so what we have is Google AdWords now Google AdWords is like a big marketplace for all the keywords that are searched for on Google and as we know Google is searched over 4 million times a minute that's like 65,000 times a second that's a lot of searches. So we got a lot of people searching things on Google every minute. And as a business owner, you can literally put yourself in front of whoever you want who's searching Google. Now, there's several things you'll want to notice and several things you'll want to take a look at. First of all, we have to look at our keywords. Now, behind the scene of our keywords, you're going to notice that there is a thing called the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. That's a lot to say. The Google AdWords Keyword Planner is going to show you what keywords people search for and how many times a month they are searched for. So you might have like 30,000 people a month searching for affiliate marketing or 100,000 people a month searching for make money online or maybe there's like 500 people a month in your local area which is called geotargeting that are searching for a real estate agent or a lawyer or a car dealer or something like that okay so first and foremost we want to look at our keyword okay very 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 important you can again go to the Google AdWords keyword planner the next thing we want to look at is the location Okay, location. So you can geo target these and say, hey, I only want people in the United States of America, or I only want people in Thailand, or I only want people in Winter Springs, Florida where Marcus lives, right? So we have all that stuff there. Um, you want to look at location. Now, when you pair the keyword with the location, you can literally drill down to your perfect prospect. So if you're a realtor in Winter Springs, Florida, boom, you can get just those people. Your ad will only show when those people in Winter Springs, Florida, search for realtor or homes for sale or something like that. Very cool. So we have keyword, we have location, then we have what's called match type. Now this is very important and a lot of people don't really look at this. Match type is how do you want your keyword to trigger the ad, all right? Because obviously if I go bid on something like the word coupon, 
that's really broad. We don't know what people want. Now, I can do something like um, glasses coupon or uh, eye doctor coupon or maybe um, some other kind of coupon in my area, and I can do different types. So we have broad match, which would be like coupon um, download. Okay, let's say we do coupon download. Okay, now that would trigger anything. Now this is going to trigger coupon, download, download coupon, how to download coupon, I need to download coupon, coupons for download, anything that has the word coupon and download in it, doesn't matter the order or anything like that, boom, you're going to trigger under broad match. Next, we have what is called exact match, and it's in these little brackets here. Okay, if I do an exact match for coupon download, okay, that means that these people have to search coupon download. That's it. That's all you get. Just coupon download. Boom. That's it. Now, if I do what's called a phrase match, that's in quotes, phrase match, okay, that is the word coupon download exactly like that, but could also have other things in it, right? So if I do like house prices as phrase match, it's going to come up with like house prices in our area, house prices, 2018, 2019 house prices, predictions, right? So it's going to have everything, but it's got to have the phrase match exactly in it like that. Okay, so these are some of the different match types you have. So first of all, we have the keyword. Again, we look at the Google Keyword Planner. Next, we have location, which we do by geo-targeting. You just tell Google, hey, where do I want people to see my ad? Very important, especially with affiliate marketing, because some of the things don't pay you for customers that are in certain areas. Um, so very important. Then we we have the match type, which is also going to allow you to drill down and find your perfect customer. And then on top of all this, we look at the fact that Google makes it really easy to see your stats and control everything you're doing. See, this is how it works. When you go to set up an ad, obviously you want your ad to match the keyword. Okay, so if I'm doing like realtor in winter springs, I'm going to go through and I'm going to make my ad say winter springs realtor. Okay, and then I could say something like over 2 million in sales last month. Or you could do something like uh, guaranteed to sell or you don't pay or something like that. Okay, that would be our ad. Next, we have what's called our URL. Okay, our URL is what is our domain name. Okay, so it'd be like, for me, it'd be affiliatemarketingdude.com. Okay, so it'd be affiliatemarketingdude.com. That would be our URL. And then we have our target link. Okay, this is where they're going to go to. This allows you for tracking and stuff like that or to test different pages, right? So I could say my URL is affiliatemarketingdude.com, but the target link is affiliatemarketingdude.com slash GA. 54 for Google AdWords campaign 54 or whatever, right? That way I can track it and stuff like that and it sends them to your page. Okay, so really cool. Now we look at that and we get control. So first of all, you control the keyword. Second of all, you control the location. Third of all, you control the match type. Fourth, we control what our ad says. So if you go in there and you have a product that's $1,000 and you don't want people that don't have $1,000, you say, hey, X product, thousand dollars boom done deal really easy right you're gonna weed out all the people and that's the whole idea of using keyword and paper search or pay-per-click search is to weed out the customers you don't want and focus on the ones that you do dude marcus that's insane so all this money you spent on google adwords you actually drilled down and got your perfect customer and made a huge profit on your investment that's right, and it gets even better because not only do you control the keyword, the location, the match type, and your ad, but you also control the amount you pay. Now, what you're going to see in the Google AdWords Keyword Planner is a suggested bid amount. You might look at something like Winter Springs Realtor, and it might say, hey, you know what? Our suggested bid is between uh, $0.75 cents and $4. Okay, now what this is, is this is called pay-per-click. Your ad is shown. It's shown free. It doesn't cost anything to show your ad. You only pay when someone clicks on the ad and goes to your site. Very easy, right? So it's like, I only pay for people who visit my site. Now, what they do on your site is up to you. Once you pay for the click, 
that's it. You've paid for the click, right? Very simple. Now, once they get to your site, you can uh, go through and sell them stuff and everything like that. Now, here's where it gets really cool because I can actually go through and I can tell Google I only want to pay a certain amount per day. This is called your daily ad budget. On your daily ad budget, you can go through and say, you know what, Google, I only want to pay $20 a day. Okay, you're like, I only want to pay $20 a, a day. So if you're paying a dollar per click, you're only going to get 20 clicks a day, which maybe in your business might be enough to generate some income. All right, and some others, maybe you need more. But if you get those 20 people a day, at the end of your 20 clicks, Google's going to pause your ad, and then it'll start over the next day. Now, in addition to this, we also get pretty much instant reporting, which means if someone clicks right now, I go into my account and I see, hey, cost me a dollar, I spent a dollar, I got a click. Here's the keyword they clicked on. Here's the page they went to. Pretty easy, right? And then I can go through and say, well, you know, this isn't working the way I want. I'm going to pause the ad. Or if the ad's working really good, I could go through and say, well, I want to spend $120 a day. And boom, there we go, right? So we have full control over everything we do. And we can accelerate. We can pause our ads. We can generate this stuff. And we can make everything work the way we want. And we have 100% control over what we do. Now, a little bit of disclaimers here. One, you never want to promote an affiliate product directly on Google AdWords. They don't really care for that too much. What you want to do instead is promote yourself or your website as the commodity in your market. That way, when people come to you, they can join your mailing list. They can check out the stuff that you have on your site. They could read the information. They could watch the videos. Whatever it is you have for them, they're going to look at that and say, hey, this is really good information. I like this guy. I trust this guy. I want to learn more about what he has has to offer. So very, very, very cool. Now, uh, using Google AdWords is a great way to build a mailing list. It's a great way to sell products. It's a great way to build your brand. It's a great way to get the word out about products or perhaps your services if you're like a realtor or something like that. It's a very good way to get out there and be seen. Because literally, when you have 4 million people every 60 seconds searching Google, I guarantee people are out there searching for what you have to offer. And if they are, Put yourself in front of it. Start building your mailing list. Another thing to notice is that Google AdWords is kind of like a bidding war. The more advertisers you have, generally, the higher the price per click goes. So if you have like a ton of advertisers, the price is going to go really high. If you have low advertisers or zero advertisers, the price is going to be really low. In some cases, I'm able to get traffic for two to four cents per click, which is really cool in some markets. And then, you know, in some markets, you want to check out other ways of doing it. Now, before I let you go, there's a couple other things you want to know. First of all, is what we call the Google Content Network. Now, the Google Content Network runs exactly like Google AdWords. It's actually in your Google AdWords, in your keyword. What it is, is a little checkbox. Now, if you click the checkbox for the Content Network, what that means is not only are you going to show up on Google, but you're also going to show up on some other search engines, and you're going to show up on websites that have the Google AdSense code on them. So if there's big websites in your market, perhaps you're in recipes, and you go and you get some traffic for recipes, you're also going to be on the top recipe sites that use AdWords, and your ad will be shown there as well. Now, often, this is a very, very less expensive click, and I've actually gotten millions and millions and millions of visitors very, very inexpensive using the content network. It's a lot like banner advertising, but it goes through the Google network, and it goes through keywords and everything like that, so it's really cool. And then, of course, the last thing you'll want to notice here is Google AdSense. Now, Google AdSense, as we mentioned, is the content network. It's the exact opposite of Google AdWords. Google AdWords is where you're paying for traffic. Google AdSense is where you get paid for traffic as a website content owner. Now, I hope you enjoyed this little video where I talked about AdWords, AdSense, the content network, and how to get in with the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. And I hope you enjoyed my fake check. Now, if you like this stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now to get other videos on how to make money online, how to promote your business, and how to do affiliate marketing to make some extra money or even full-time money like I've done for the last 19 years. So make sure you subscribe. Put your questions and comments below so that I can use them in my next video. And I'll see you in the next video.